Today for our mini tutorial session, I'm going to show you how to use your monitor as a second display for your own illustrations on Procreate. So if you want to learn how to make this hack, make sure to stay until the end of this video so you don't miss anything about this feature. So now, let's get started. Alright guys, in order to make this happen, it's actually really simple. There is just one requirement, is that you have an adapter, which will be an USB-C to whatever port is in the back of your monitor. In this case right here, I'm actually going to use an USB-C to a display port, which is what I have at the back of my monitor. So as soon as you hook up this cable onto your iPad and making sure that you have the correct input on your monitor, you will see the image, you should see the image right away displayed on your screen. There are then two modes of actually working with your illustration on Procreate with your monitor as a second display. The first one is what we call the unprojected canvas. And what that is, is a complete mirror of whatever you have here on Procreate to your display. So if you open the layers menu, you will see that on your monitor. If you go to the brush menu and select a few brushes, you will see those panels as well reflected on your monitor, as well as any uh, zoom in and out. Anything that will be seen on your iPad will be playing real time on your monitor. There is a second way of actually working with this, which is you just have to go into the Actions menu and then going into Preferences, you can turn on the option Project Canvas. And now what that's going to do for you, it's going to hold the canvas full screen. As you can zoom in, you could go into panels such as Layers panel, the brushes, and nothing will be showing on your monitor. This will be, in, in some ways, you will always see the end result on your monitor as you can get really close with your illustration, really get to all of the details that you need, but you will always have the full picture on your monitor. And you may actually prefer to work in this mode. So you kind of always see the big picture as you're working with all the parts on your iPad. And that was a bonus tip. Uh, in my case, this did happen because my monitor does support HDR. So as soon as I hook up the cable onto my iPad, the image that I was seeing on my monitor was actually a very saturated image because it was actually displaying with the wrong HDR colors. So the way that we can fix this, just make sure to go into settings on your iPad and then head up to the tab that says display and brightness. At the bottom of that tab, you will probably see your connected display. And upon clicking on that display, you will have two options at the top so that you can use HDR or you can just use uh, the option without HDR. So if you select that one, you should see right away the correct colors on your screen. That's just something that's uh, good to keep in mind because you could be spending lots of time thinking it's within the options on your monitor and the fix is actually here on the iPad, not on the monitor. So that's it for this video guys, I hope you guys enjoy and I hope you do use this feature if you're actually working with some really large canvases. If your illustrations are quite big, you can always use your monitor as a display, as a mirror display or as uh, a way to actually see the whole picture as you get into the all of the corners and all of the details of your illustration. If you did find this video helpful, if it helped you in any way, a like. A comment will be super appreciated as well as hit the subscribe button if you want to learn a little bit more about digital illustration or even to improve your skills as a digital illustrator. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you on the next one.